Hello YouTube! Now today, I have a really big ship to show you. It's to Slave 1, the 20th anniversary! We are first going to start with the minifigures. Now, most of these figures are bounty hunters, and we still have some heroes, but, you know, this is about Boba Fett, so there's going to be bounty hunters, of course. So we're going to start with Forlom. He's a bounty hunter many people might not know, and he has, like, it kind of looks like a fly, and he kind of has, like, a protocol droid body, and he has a sniper right here. And then we got his friend, Zuckus, and he has a new uh, dress mold, and then he got this new mold. This is actually the first time we're ever getting him, and he has this blaster, like, got, like, binoculars combined with, like, a gun. Kind of creates this, like this cool looking version of it. Like kind of like looks like it extends. So here we have Boba Fett right here in his Mandalorian armor. And he has a clone face. Which I kind of am kind of happy but at the same time I'm mad. Because the other ones are kind of like better like the other faces. And we got his helmet right here. With this antenna. And he also includes this visor. Which is kind of hard to put on. Let me just put it on. There we go. So we have his visor right here. Doesn't really look as appealing. But yeah, there's his visor right there. And then there's holes right here so you can put it in. And then here you got his like cape. Kind of thing. I like getting this because it, it at least they didn't like didn't put printing on it. If, if they didn't put printing on it, I, I would kind of not care. But I kind of like the e detail they added. Here you got the jetpack, which I'm kind of mad about because there's like no color in this at all. It's just like one mold and doesn't really have like any special like coloring. So it's just all like tan. And then right here you got. Printed feet, then you got like the rest are just Mandalorian armor. And if we go here, here's Han Solo. The new hair piece is right here. I kind of like this hair piece. Then here's his face, and he also has an alternate expression when he's kind of like smiling. This is one of my favorites. This is why I like this. Oh, whoopsies. Then you got his torso right here. And you got his legs looking great. Then you got his blaster. And then there's another variation of him. And it's the one Carbonite. I'm kind of mad at this, but at the same time, I'm like, it's nice getting him in Carbonite. Because the hair pieces don't match. So what you do is take off the gun, of course. And you just clip him on like this. I kind of like it when it's like the it's just simple. You don't really have to do like anything. And if we move on to the special figure, which is Princess Leia. It is the 20th anniversary Princess Leia. Includes blaster. Includes the old hair mold, which is nice to appear once again. Then you got her yellow face, of course. And that's pretty much it with the minifigures. Now, this is the slave one itself. And it looks really, really good. Like, this is like a UCS version of the slave one. Now, let's move on to detail first. And we're going to start off right over here. Now, I didn't really like how there were stickers here. I wish they were only printed. So it would look a little bit better. And I kind of don't like how this is brick built. I, I wish it was like, it was more cleaner than just this. But I guess it's fine. And then here's like a, like the wing part where it holds the wing. And this is a wing right here. Got these. I don't really know what they do, but they kind of look cool. And this is the same for this side. And then right here you got Kind of like the trunk. So, if we go over here in the back, 
You know that's something different, which I'll cover later. Got like the power that provides it to fly, I guess. You got these like pipes. I don't really know why it's there, but okay. So right here you got a little like dirt, I guess, from all of its like adventures. And I guess that's it for the playability. I mean, sorry, not playability. Now let's move on to the playability. Notice that there's turrets, and they move all the way around. And there are wings here that don't work that well, but that's fine. At least, it, at least it looks fine when it's on landing mode. And there's also guns right here, which is pretty cool. I kind of like this. You know, it was like made from like three pieces. That's the same for this one. And you'll notice there are spring missiles right here. If you're wondering how those work, let me just do something real quick. This requires two hands. At least I have a handle. So this handle is actually pretty cool. It, it like, it's like the natural source of playing. Like you can pick this up and then you can fly away with your Boba Fett. Now, keep in mind this does kind of cover this part, so you can't, you can't actually get the full thing. So it's kind of look a little weird if you're like a really big Boba Fett fan. I mean, a Slave One fan, then you're not gonna be able to see the that part. And then there's like this red thing right here. It's like lever. If you're wondering what this missile does, I mean how it works, there's one, there's two. And that's, ladies and gentlemen, how you make a Lego set. So you just put these back in like so. We can get this in. There we go. Let me get the other one. They do provide you with one extra one in the extra pieces. So that's at least cool. I wish I included another extra one. But at least that's fine. So if we go to the trunk of the slave one, you notice that there's a hatch. If you open that hatch, if you would. Stay up there. Okay. One other flaw I would like to say is that this doesn't stay up at all. I mean, I don't know why they use tech, like, I don't know why they did that, but they didn't use hinges at all. They just use, like, Technic pieces for that to work, and it doesn't even go up. So, what you store inside of it is the carbonite. And you put it inside, like so. There's no, uh, thing to hold it, so that's kind of stupid. So, yeah, that's basically it for the trunk. I mean, another thing I'd like to say, I kind of wish they covered this up. I don't know why they kept it open. Kind of looks a little weird. Alright, now we'll move on to the cockpit. This thing opens like that. I'm not mad that it just opens like this instead of like opens up. Because that's not really how the slave one doesn't work like that. Like, you're usually supposed to enter from here. Oh, whoopsies. So, what you do is you grab your Boba Fett like this. Then what you do is you place them like this. If I can try to, it's kind of hard. And he goes back like this, which I'm kind of mad about. I don't know why he, I don't know why the designer was thinking that this was all right. Cause now you just got like a bobbing Boba Fett. And he just got off. So, I mean, this is not okay for me. I mean, now it just looks like he's practically dumb and he's like hitting himself on the control pad. And there's like, stickers right here they're both different surprisingly i thought they would just pull off the same exact sticker 
So I guess that's it for uh, Boba Fett. Oh, he actually does stick in. If you actually push him all the way. And there you go. It doesn't look really great. Like more like this should be like a control panel right here, but I guess it's fine having it here. But I mean, it doesn't really matter. All that matters for me is that the way it looks. It doesn't really matter for the interior for me. Well, sometimes. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Like and subscribe for new content like this one. Thank you.